Everyone is talking about DevOps, but I think there is a lot of confusion around this topic. For this reason, today we are going to see what DevOps really is, what the benefits of doing DevOps are, and why everyone should adopt it. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave. On this channel, we talk a lot about DevOps, but we almost always do it from a toolset standpoint. Today instead, I want to take a step back and talk about DevOps more in general, talk about the benefits of adopting DevOps, and also about some concept I see people often confuse about. And after you're done with this video, I highly encourage you to take a look at the video I published recently and I made with some awesome DevOps expert in which we go through the common mistakes new DevOps engineers make and how to avoid them. You can find the link up here and in the video description. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to learn more about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos like this. All right, let's start with the big question. What is DevOps? If you ask this to many people, you'll have many different answers. But the one I like the most and I actually always use when I work with clients is this one. DevOps is the union of people, processes and products to enable continuous delivery of value to your end users. There are two very important concepts in that definition. The first one is that DevOps is not a methodology nor a tool, but is something instead that needs to be understood, developed and adopted by people thanks to the processes. Sure, tools are important, but they are important because they help you implementing and managing the processes you've designed. And these new or revised processes come from changing the way you, your team and your organization work and from different culture. And this is all about people. The second important point that definition makes is about value. Value is the ultimate reason why we all do DevOps. We need to deliver value to our clients, whether they are internal or external client doesn't matter, and we need to do it fast. We we'll live in a world where everything needs to be done quickly, and we also need to keep innovating and at increasing pace. But at the same time, we need to do it reliably, because if we ship our products or services faster, but then no one use them because they don't work, well, we haven't done a good job, have we? How can we do this? How we can deliver and innovate faster while keeping or even improving our reliability? Well, the answer is, of course, with DevOps. Now that we have this out of the way, let's talk about the concrete benefits DevOps brings to organizations. Before we do so, hit the like button below if you think this video provides value to you or you find it insightful. So what are the benefits of DevOps? Let's start with something general. According to the 2018 States of DevOps report, presented by Dora, the DevOps research and assessment organization, the top performing DevOps companies, when compared to low performers, spend about 66% less time on customer support issues and about 50% less time on customer identified defects and remediation of security issues. And because of that, they can spend much more time on new work and on innovating enabling them to be more adaptive in their markets and disrupt their competitors. The results of this are better products deliver faster to happier clients by more engaged teams. And the next question would be, how does this translate to business? According to the McKinsey Developer Velocity Research, companies that are top performers in DevOps have about four times higher revenue growth. These businesses also score higher on customer satisfaction, brand perception, and talent management. This, in my opinion, will be already enough to start seriously thinking about adopting DevOps. But there is more, this time from a technical and technological point of view. Once again, accordingly to Dora's State of DevOps report, top performers in DevOps can deploy as much as 208 times more frequently than companies which don't do DevOps, or that are in the very early stages of adoption. And not only they can deploy more, but they have usually a lead time for changes that is more than 100 times faster. This is why DevOps helps delivering value faster. You can create more features and you can do it quicker. But that's not it. In fact, as we said before, speed is nothing if we are not reliable. And as we can see in the bottom part of the image, DevOps top performers are seven times less likely to experience failure. And even when things go south, they are incredibly faster in responding to incidents and recovery from them. Those numbers seem completely out of this planet, and they actually blew my mind when I saw them. But after working with many clients throughout the years, I can definitely say this really works. If you're curious to take a look at the DORAS report by yourself, you can find a link in the video description below. We have one more point to address, and that is security. Now, I'm not a big fan of the term DevSecOps, 
And the reason for it is, is that I think security should be of main importance every time we do DevOps. And in fact, for me, I always put it on the same plane with speed and reliability. Once again, let me go back to the definition of DevOps we have seen before with people, processes and products. And let's apply this to the security. What you see on screen are just some of the security practices that I usually like to adopt when doing DevOps. And as you can see, they are divided in people, processes and products. When you start focusing on security, in fact, if you start with the people, you should always educate your teams and your organization and approach everything with a security first mindset while assuming breaches. And when you have that, you can start developing your processes, whether you want to use the red blue team exercise, adopting security reviews inside of code reviews, doing security assessment, thread modeling, and so on and so forth. There should be a process for it. And finally, you can use the security related products like the study code analysis, credential scanning, secret management to help you implementing those processes that ultimately come from changing your people's culture and the way your teams work. Going through people, processes and products also when doing security and also bringing your security work as part of your daily work in your normal backlog significantly helps in making your code and your organization more secure. And if you do it correctly, this is how DevOps helps in delivering value faster in a more secure and more reliable way. So to recap, DevOps helps because developers are at the heart of your company's innovation and adopting DevOps, they can be more productive, collaborate more, and in the end, be more engaged. Also, DevOps help accelerating the delivery of value while optimizing and increasing reliability as well. I want to close this video with a final thought. And once again, I'm going to refer to the Doris report because I think it says something very important. DevOps is not a trend. It effectively helps organizations improving their software development and delivery. And I totally agree with Dora when they say that DevOps will eventually be the standard way of software development and operations, offering everyone a better quality of life. If you and your organization are not doing DevOps yet, I highly encourage you to start now. Start small and iterate to reach a better result and higher efficiency, reliability and security. And do it now before the market you're in is disrupted by your competitors that are taking advantage of DevOps. All right, that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and if you've seen the benefits of doing DevOps in your daily work and in your organization. I want to take a step attack, but it's something that needs to be understand, understand from a technical and technological, technological. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.